guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the closed captioning on Camtasia. But before I get started on teaching you about that, I'm going to have some videos pop up on the screen somewhere. These are other Camtasia tutorials that I created for you guys, so feel free to check them out after this video. You can click on them with a link on the video or in the description below. Okay, so before I even get started on showing you how to do the closed captioning on Camtasia, I'm going to show you what a video looks like with Camtasia. So this is a video where we interviewed a four-year-old boy on what makes you happy. So you can see a little bit of it here. If you want to see the rest of the interview, again, you can click on the description below or somewhere on the screen. So we want it to be called Nuggets. Okay, so you can see the closed captioning happening there while Nuggets is speaking. Now the reason why we want to do closed captioning on this video is because Nuggets is a four-year-old boy and little kids tend to speak a little funny and we just thought it would be really entertaining and funny to show his speech on the screen and it really adds to the video to the interview. So we don't usually do closed captioning on our videos but in this case we decided to because it was an interview with a four-year-old. Okay, so now that I've shown you what the closed captioning looks like, I'm going to show you how to do it in Camtasia. So we've got the same video here with Nuggets, and I'm going to do the same closed captioning that I did before and show you how I did it. Now the reason why I'm creating this video is because I actually had a very hard time figuring out how to actually get the closed captioning to show in the final video. It took many hours to figure out how to do this and I actually couldn't find the solution online. I had to play around and figure it out myself and I figured there are a lot of other people who are having this problem as well. So here we are on the actual video and you want to go to more and click on captions. It might already show up in, in your menu here. Okay, so I find that the manual way of doing captions works best. So when I tried the automated way, where the Camtasia software detects the voice and they do it for you, it was completely wrong and it really didn't work out. So I thought it was best and much faster to do it myself. Okay, so to do closed captioning, you wanna find the part where you want to add the text to it. So I'm gonna click play. So can I call you Nuggets? Yes. Nug okay, so he says yes with the extended yes. So I'm going to click on the magnifying glass here to elongate the, the video so I can see the, the sound where he's speaking, where I can see, you can see here, he starts it here and he elongates the S. So I'm gonna play it for you. Yes. So he goes, yes. So I want the caption to go for that entire length. So I want it to start right when he says that and then ends when he ends the last S. It just looks a lot cleaner when you can match the caption to the actual speaking. So once I've got my point here, you want to click to paste or add caption. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to go yes. And I'm going to put a bunch of S's because that's how he says it. So you can see here on the screen, it's quite small. I made the closed captioning quite a lot bigger because I wanted it to be very obvious what Nuggets was saying in the video. So what I did was I highlighted this, I clicked bold, and then I wanted italics. I thought it was more of a stylistic choice to have the italics. It just, I thought it looked better because of his speaking, like the conversation. So I just thought that italics looked good. And then the size, I had it, what did I have it at? 48 or something like that. Yeah, something like that. I had it around this size, so you can see it's much bigger than before. And you see how it originally had the caption going for this length, 
Well, that's not how Long Nuggets is speaking. He's actually only speaking from this point to here. So that's where I want it. So we're going to click play and see if it matches up. Nuggets or nuggets? Okay, so that it matches up perfectly. So let's get him saying something else. Okay, so he says nuggets. So let's find out where exactly he's saying that. Again, I'm moving the cursor and I'm gonna be pressing play. You're gonna be doing a lot of repeat because you're gonna be going back, playing it, okay, making sure that it's in the right spot and then doing it again. Nuggets. Just, oh. Okay, so I believe he stops here. Just. Okay, so he's still going there. So for that entire time, it's nuggets. Okay, so to add a new caption in a different area, you wanna click Add Caption Media. Because if you click on Append New Caption, it's going to latch itself onto this one, the previous one. So because this one, the next line isn't so close to this one, I want it to go over here. So I have to click on Caption, Add Caption Media. So I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna create a new little area for me. So I'm gonna go nuggets, okay? Cause that's what he says. Highlight it, bold, italics. Now this is a stylistic choice. You guys can do it however you'd like. So I, I believe he says nuggets for this duration of time. Let's check it out. Nuggets, just, oh, okay. Okay, so that was good. So he said it for that entire time. That's the length. Again, let's find another place. I'll show you one more example. Plural then, nuggets. Yeah. Okay. okay, so he very lightly whispers, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we want to put that there. So we want to click add caption media because again, we don't want to append it to this one. We don't want to attach it to this one. So we want to click add caption media because it's a totally new one. And he goes, yeah very lightly. So bold it italics and then we'll put it for the duration that he says it and click play. Yeah. Okay. okay so that matched up perfectly. So you want to go and do this for the entire video of how much you'd like the caption. So if you want to caption the entire thing then you've got to go through the entire video and do the captions for it. If you only want it for certain points when people say certain things that are funny, then you can go and do those ones uh, however you'd like. So it really just doesn't matter. It's your preference how, how many captions you'd like to do. In this case, I only want to do Nuggets. I didn't want to do the interviewer who is my business partner because you can clearly understand her. And I thought it would be more funny to just do captions for Nuggets. So now that you're done going through the whole thing, you're not out of the woods yet because this is where I was having a lot of the problems. It, it wasn't actually going through the video, which does take some time. Be, be ready to prepare, sorry, be prepared to spend some more time than usual editing your video because adding captions does take a lot more time. So when you are done, you wanna click produce and share. Now I had to do some different settings um, than my usual ones. Usually I would go MP4 only up to 720p, click next, final, we're done. That's what I usually do. But in this case, because you're doing captions and I'm not sure why it's not already automatic, you need to go to custom production settings, click next, choose MP4 dash flash uh, forward slash HTML5 player, the recommended one, click next. Now this may be confusing, but it's really not. You wanna head over to options, and here where it says captions, you wanna make sure that captions is checked, captions initially visible checked, and you wanna click on burned in captions. I had it set on just closed captions, and it wasn't showing up. Initially, I didn't have this checked, and I didn't have this checked, so after rendering it many times, which took a lot of time, I found that when you click burned in captions, click next, right? Click next, don't need to worry about anything else here. Uh, test, you wanna name it test, and then click finish. 
So when you click finish, it's going to start rendering and then it's going to finalize your video and then you've got the video file ready to go. Now, when you are adding closed captioning to your video, it actually takes a lot longer to render. So don't be worried if it's taking way longer. It actually made my file like one gig or something, which is huge because that doesn't, it's not usually that big. So I guess adding closed captioning makes the video a lot larger. I didn't know that. So be aware of that when you are rendering the video. All right, guys, well, that is it. That is how you do closed captioning. The main thing to remember is when you're rendering your video, you set it to burned in because if you don't do the burned in, it's not gonna show up on your video and you'll be like, what the hell? Why aren't the closed captioning showing? Like I almost thought that all that closed captioning work was gonna be gone. I thought that it was going to be over and that I would have to start all over again. But luckily the burned in function worked when I was rendering. So really make sure to check that when you are finished with your video. All right guys, well thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If I've helped you out in any way, please let me know by giving us a like, a comment, a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. All right guys, well thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead